Next, I'm going to demonstrate uh, measuring and recording blood pressure. Manual blood pressure. Manual blood pressure is one of the most difficult uh, skills throughout the state. The uh, pass rate for blood pressure is low, so a lot of people tend to get blood pressure. So, pay close attention. Ms. Janice, next I'm going to assist you to measure your blood pressure, okay? Okay. Provide privacy. Make sure the bed is in safe position. Bed is locked. I'm going to sit you up, okay? okay. Assist you to sit. And put on your shoe. So you will bring the bedside table. Where should I go? Okay. I need you to place your hand up like this for me. Just one hand. Okay. Your blood pressure supply equipment will be here. You will need um, alcohol wipes, a dual stethoscope. One so one hand. The instructor will listen, and while the student listens on the other hand, and then the blood pressure cuff. So the first thing that you're going to do, if the if the examiner does not wipe her stethoscope, then you need to wipe it for her. So you start wiping yours first. Make sure they don't um, get twisted. So, wipe your stethoscope, use one pad per earpiece, because several people use the stethoscope, so you need to wipe the stethoscope. So wipe, get another one, and wipe. And then you will place this around your neck. Make sure you place it the way it's going to go in the ear, pointing out. You should not uh, place the stethoscope this way into your ear. You will not hear it well. It should be that way. Okay. Then you're going to wipe the bell of the stethoscope, which is this. You can use one to wipe this one. Then, before you place the blood pressure cuff, make sure you locate the brachial artery. It's going to be in the middle there. Just go there and uh, check it for two, about two seconds. Okay. Next thing is to place the wrap the blood pressure cuff. But before you wrap it, look at how the information there. It says artery, left arm, artery, right arm. Ms. Janice, place your right arm on the table. Let me show. Okay. Let me explain something. So if you were wrapping the stethoscope on the left arm, after you locate the left artery, you will make sure that this arrow is pointing to that spot there. So the left arm arrow should be pointing to where you located the left arm artery. If you're using the right arm, you're going to make sure that the right arm arrow is pointing to where you located the artery. So this will be the correct way. So we're using the right arm, so we're going to wrap it now. Make sure you leave some space for the stethoscope here, so you will not be, don't wrap like this. So take it up a little bit, so you leave space for the stethoscope. Make sure you wrap it tight enough, not too tight and not too loose. Then you place the meter, you know, press that and then hook it underneath. 
so that both you and the examiner can see the reading. Now you put this in your ear now. And you place the stethoscope right there. Support it. Make sure it's covered completely. Then you're going to close the knob here. Not too tight because you're going to slowly open it. So don't make it too tight. Tonight it's, it's locked, it's closed. You're supposed to pump all the way to 180 before you start releasing it slowly. If you release it and immediately hear a sound, you're supposed to deflate completely and inflate to 200. Alright, so let's inflate now. Make sure you're holding the, status, the, uh, the pump here in a way that will allow you to handle it correctly. Pump all the way to one, about 180. Okay. Then slowly deflate. And then watch the meter and listen. can deflate once it gets down to about 40 you're not gonna you know the, the, the strong sound will be will fade away so what you want to do is um, you're listening to you're looking at the meter go down as you as it as you deflate it where do you hear the first sound that's gonna be your systolic and where you hear the last sound is gonna be your diastolic so the next thing you will do is to on that. Okay. This generation blood pressure was 110 over 56. You can tell the resident what the blood pressure was. But you're gonna put your supply away. Just we like to sit or would you like to lie down? Sit. Sit, okay. Give your resident a light. Thank you. Make sure the bed is in the lowest position and the bed is locked. And then you're gonna wash your hands first. Wash your hands. The examiner would have given you a sheet to record your result. Then you will record, you know, um, 110. Over 56. You have to come to within 8 plus or minus of the examiner's result to be able to pass. That concludes blood pressure.